Hi, babies. Welcome to my office. I was just doing a little bit of ASMR banking, which is perfect because today's sponsor is Dave. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. As you may know, Jeremy and I are getting married. And with getting married comes a lot of unanticipated costs, like a custom doggy tuxedo, for example. Mm. Pink's not really your color. And with extra costs comes extra stress. So it's been really nice to know we can turn to Dave in extra cash when we need a little help. There's no interest and no credit check needed. So, to help embrace relaxing ASMR banking vibes, download Dave today at dave.com backslash chili bee. That's dave.com backslash chili bee. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com backslash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve, member FDIC. Thanks again to Dave for helping support our channel. So relax and enjoy the video. Hello, sir. Your bag has been pulled for a screening today, and because of that, we're going to do a pat down as well. Uh, do you understand as I explained it? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your passport or your license on you today? Mm hmm Thank you. Okay, so you've done a fair bit of traveling. Are you coming back or leaving? Uh, coming back. Okay. All right. A bag can get pulled for numerous reasons, um, so we'll go ahead and do the full pat down, take a look, but seems like you are who you say you are. I'm just going to set this aside for later. Okay. All right, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to be patting down every part of your body using a couple of tools to suss out if there's anything hidden and doing everything top, bottom, front, and back, all right? Okay. If anything is uncomfortable, please don't hesitate to let me know. Before we begin, is there anything hidden on your persons? No. Start out just using the detector and hands out. Thank you. This is just looking for any metals. I believe that's just going to be. Piece of your jacket there. Is it kind of here? Yep, okay. And nobody's had possession of the jacket other than you since you purchased it, correct? No. That looks fine. Hey, could you turn around for me, please, sir? Just feeling inside the hood. Nothing hidden. While I'm up here, I'm going to start the pat down. I'm using my hands to just check the jacket you're wearing. And this, this a pocket in here? Just yeah. extra fabric. I'm just going to feel the inside. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Put this arm down for me. around to the front room, please. Do the same thing on the front side.
any feeling in the hair. Can you open your mouth for me, please? And lift your tongue. Moving down to the pockets. It's a mask. I'm just going to test this. set that with the other thing and I'm gonna have you uh, just remove your jacket to continue the assessment Are you comfortable if I set this aside yeah I'm gonna do the same thing again just under the jacket now check this piece. Can you turn around for me, please? I'm just going to lift this slightly and check this right on the pant line here. I'm just going to continue by moving to your lower extremities now. Okay, just checking the back pockets. Could you spread your legs a little bit for me, just a smudge? Thank you. Turn around for me, please. Did you forget your phone in the pocket there? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, no problem. Just gonna set that aside and we'll look at it in a minute. Anything else in your pockets? No. I want you to remove your shoes for me, please. Thank you. And I'm just going to take a look at your socks. Could you, uh, you can hold the back wall and just pick up this foot for me, please? Okay, go ahead and put that down. Same thing, this foot. Okay, go ahead. All right, standing there, while I'm here, I'm gonna be putting on some gloves and just checking for any foreign substances. Okay, this again just gonna involve me running over his skin and clothing. Just looking for any debris. Okay, don't see any on the sides. You turn around for me. Okay. 
Okay. Smelling up here. Same thing, turn around for me. Alright, the gloves look fine to me. So Jeremy, I'm gonna take a look at your shoes now. I'm gonna put my gloves back on to do that. Thank you for your patience. Feel anything in there? Just gonna check with my tool here. That's fine. And again, no one's ever tampered with your footwear. No. Okay, you're not, not carrying anything secretly that you're aware of. No. Okay. Alright, that one looks fine. Go ahead and give that one back to you. And I'll just take a look at the other one here. Just take a look first. came back clear, so you can go ahead and put both your shoes back on now. So Jeremy, the pat down portion is complete. Uh, I can go ahead and give you back that jacket if you want it, but in the meantime, I'd like to just move over to my station and take a look at your bag and see why it was pulled. Sounds good. And I can see we have a laptop here, Jeremy, is that correct?
looks for him. Okay. And while I have this out, I'll go ahead and take a look at the phone as well. Set this over here for now. So you have several pairs of socks here. Like a toothbrush, eye mask, nothing there. Is this your bag of liquids? Yeah. Okay. So, this wouldn't have been why your bag been, had gotten pulled, but these should be a 8x8. Eight eight. This is just a little bit long. Um, so, Next time, just pack in a slightly smaller bag. But again, the liquids look okay. That's probably not the reason it was pulled. So check in here. Nothing hidden in there. Okay. I'm going to test a couple of these. Okay. No signs of illicit materials detected. With what looked like a charger. Any lithium batteries in the bag? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, is this a food product? Yeah, it is. Okay, that may be why the bag was pulled. You're not actually allowed to bring food products uh, that were from the local uh, ecology into the country. I'm going to go ahead and put those aside. I'm pretty sure that's why the bag got pulled. I'll just check the rest for good measure. Check the 
other side here. This is mostly clothing, it looks like. All right, I'm just going to bring in our sniffer dog to do a check of the rest of the bag. As long as nothing else comes up, uh, you'll be good to go. All right, so we just have our sniffer dog here, Jeremy. I'm just going to have him take a look through, see if there's anything. So go ahead and just look around there. Oh, and it does look like he's spotted something right in there. Ah, and I have a bit of a spare hand sanitizer here. That does happen. I assume you just forgot about this? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to test that one more time, make sure there's nothing substance-wise in there. Okay, no reaction there, so that means it's probably not illicit materials. Anything else in there, Sniffer Dog? No. Okay, so I think that was the problem. Go ahead and put him back in his bed. This was the only uh, issue there, as well as this food item. Jeremy, is it's not allowed, um, so I'm going to have to confiscate that. Right. And just know that if you try and bring large quantities of food or um, ecology products. This would be plants, uh, live animals, livestock, medication, that type of thing. Um, that could result in more serious fines next time. All right, I'll let you off with a warning this time. All right, so all of your stuff is here, ready for you to put back together, and uh, as well as your mask and your passport um, and your phone. Um, so thank you again for your time today. And again, just, you know, don't bring any of those things in and we won't have a problem. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Thank you.